Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete all of this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called Godzilla wants you to own and drive the 2017 Nissan GTR to complete all of this week's challenges which aren't as difficult as they may seem. So first of all you're going to want to pick yourself out the 2017 Nissan GTR which will set you back 132,000 credits in the auto show or a little bit less if you pick one up in the auction house. Now please bear in mind when we did this one about a year ago using the pre-order version of the GTR did not work so it might not work this time either so I'm just going to stick with the standard one. Now I have created a tune for you guys to use as well the share code is on your screen now if you want to use it you don't have to as the GTR standard is pretty good anyway. So the first challenge here wants you to win a road series circuit event at the Goliath race. Now I'm sure all of you guys know the Goliath. You have to be I believe level 15 or 20 in the road race series to have unlocked this race. But luckily for you guys you haven't got to do the whole thing. I've created a race for you guys to use. Now it's called 30 seconds and the share code again is on your screen in front of you now and that is available for everyone to use. So if you don't want to have to lug through the entire Goliath race doing a lap of that, there is always this race that I've created for you or I'm sure there are loads of other ones out there as well that you can always test and try. Now the good thing about this as per usual is the AI go off on a bit of a tangent and it will take you about 25 seconds to complete this one compared to about 10 minutes of a full lap of the Goliath. So the first challenge there is really really easy and you've only got to do it once. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn three drift tap skill combos. So a drift tap is when you're drifting and you lightly nudge or tap against a wall in order to get the drift tap skill. Now you must note that for this drift tap takes about 30 seconds before you can do it over and over again so you can't rinse and repeat constantly. Now to do this I just headed to the Horizon Festival because there are lots of solid barriers around. So as long as you're hitting some form of solid barrier whether it's at the festival or all the way up in Edinburgh it really doesn't matter but the drift tap is actually pretty easy to get. Now you don't necessarily have to be power sliding at 150 mile an hour sort of thing to get the drift tap. What I find quite easy sometimes is just to start your drift right next to the wall which always helps or as you can see here get quite lucky and fluke a couple of them. It does also help to have the second life perk because if you slam a wall quite hard it won't knock your skill chain off and sometimes you might get lucky and actually get a drift tap skill. Like I said this challenge is actually fairly easy because you only need to get three of them and a couple of mine I got super super lucky but like I said the best way to start doing it is to literally start drifting next to the wall and slightly tap it. Now the final challenge here wants you to earn three daredevil skill combos. Now a daredevil skill combo is three near miss misses in quick succession. The quickest and easiest way to do this is hop into Horizon Solo where there is many many more AI cars to get near miss skills on and then head over to the motorway. Now the reason for this is because there's much more denser population of AI cars in a very short space and you can just fly down the motorway and keep on racking up those near miss skills as you can see. So this final challenge is really really easy, three daredevil skills will not take too long, like I said there's lots of cars close up next to each other, so you'll easily get about two near miss skills really quickly and then there'll be another car not too far in front in which you can get another near miss skill which will give you the daredevil skill combo. So like I said really really easy challenge. Now if you're struggling with any of these challenges please do say so down below in the comments and I'll try and help you out to the best of my ability. I want to also say a massive massive thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. I hope this content is still helping you out. Now if it is helping you out and you're new to the channel I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and like I said if it helped you out and you did enjoy this don't forget to drop a like as well. Apart from that folks I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.